Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to Aries Routines. Today's video, I'm going to be stepping back into my second love, which is makeup. Y'all, I'm going to be showing you my three or four go-to nude lipsticks. Y'all, stay tuned. So before I hop into this video, my fragrance of the day is not new to this channel, Sol de Janeiro's 71. I only worked from home today, so I just did a quick little spray after I got out of the shower. And yeah, go to, love it. Yeah, I even returned, I think it's the original one for 71. So test them out before you buy. That's all I'm going to say. And I'm also wearing a turtleneck. I don't know about y'all, but turtleneck, like a fitted black turtleneck is like the epitome of sexy to me. I don't know why it's possibly i can't tell if that's a plane or a shoot it's definitely a plane because it's not nighttime i almost said it was a shooting star um, but a plain black fitted turtleneck is the epitome like the epitome of sexy now my neck is a little bit short so i don't have much of a neck so it is giving like choke but you know that never hurt anyone first things first is moisturizer like our lip my lips are really dry right now my overall my skin is really dry right now due to the weather change but we need to hop in with some lip balm chapstick whatever moisturize your lips um i'm using the burt's bees vanilla bean moisturizing lip balm and i love this i clearly oh you can't even see it clearly love this stuff um it's not like vanilla vanilla but what i will say is i put it on before i go to bed and i wake up and my lips are moisturized so once our lips are moisturized we're going to be hopping right in i will be looking down um on the mirror uh i am going to start this is the simplest one i'm starting with chestnut lip liner by mac and this combination is actually not new to my channel. But when your lips are moisturized, at least like freshly moisturized, it glides on so much better. So we're just gonna line our lips, bring it in a bit in the corners, and then clean that up. And then a clear lip gloss. Literally, that's it. This is one of my go-to lips. Um, when I'm in a rush or like if I need to re-up, I'll just do this one instead of any of the other ones because it's so fast. There is one more that is super quick as well that I just take with me and go and I can re-up whenever I need to. But we're putting on the clear lip gloss over it. And here it is. Between, I'm just wiping my lips off, which are gonna dry them out, okay? But I'm gonna just reapply um, moisture in between each lip. Next up, again, one of the simplest combinations around, we have NYX. Now, y'all know I love a NYX lip gloss. If you watched any of my videos where I'm applying anything to my lips outside of chapstick, it's typically a NYX lip gloss. I do have my hair store lip glosses as well that have never failed me. But for this combination, we have these two beauties right here. So the lighter pink shade is Tiramisu. And then the brown shade is Ginger Snap. I love it and I can't open it, so give me a second. So with Ginger Snap, which is the darker color, we're gonna like act like we're lining our lips again. So just going around. And this does not have to be neat. It's given I need a new one. So if you're like me, your lips are already kind of lining themselves. So this just kind of adds to it. Okay. 
Okay. And then we're taking tiramisu. What is going on? Why can't I? I can't open anything today. So unladylike, but who cares? And putting it directly in the middle. And then if you want to, you can go back again, because uh, that, that almost fell, with Ginger Snap and just reapply it a little bit at a time. And this gives you like a milky, almost pink nude lip. And it's just lip gloss. Okay, next up is for my matte loving girls. So I am going in again with the chestnut chestnut <laughs> lip liner by MAC. And we are almost like exaggerating the lip line. So I'm going to bring it into the corners like you just saw. All the way around. And then into the corners again. So we're just really leaving the center untouched. Then I am going in with my NYX Lingerie um, Liquid Lipstick. I'm trying to see if I can find a color. It's on the bottom. Baby Doll. So it looks like this. My nails look orange. <laughs> it looks like this and it's in the color Baby Doll. And it is a liquid lipstick. So it is going to be matte, which again is a little bit drying. But start off with moisturized lips. So then we're just gonna put that in the center and blot. Like, that's really it. So I blot in the middle first and it allows it to dry down a little bit and then I blot all over i just realized i was doing it without saying anything so when it dries all the way down it turns so it doesn't it dries down and it's no longer sticky right now it's still a little bit wet so it is a little sticky but it just turns into this absolutely stunning combination i just I love this combination. I use this. I use the second one more than any of them. And then this one like is my number two favorite. Like I always use this if I'm doing like more glam and I want my lips to last. Right, and last but not least, number four, you can do one of two things. As you see, I still have this lip on. So you can add number two, which is the combination of uh, tiramisu and ginger snap on top of this matte look. It gives you a glossy version of this, but it just lasts a lot longer than just doing the two of them. Or you can just go in with some liquid, not liquid lipstick, go <laughs> Oh, <laughs> go in with some clear lip gloss and just apply it over this matte look and it gives you the same color combination but in a gloss and it does last a lot longer as well So I guess it's technically three and a half. 
because it's like the same, but we're gonna count it as four. <laughs> All right, y'all, that ends today's video. Please let me know if you've tried any of these combinations or if you plan on it. Until next time, bye. Now, I don't know how I got makeup in my hair. Oh, y'all ignore that. This is, what is this called? So, oh, child. Sol de Janeiro 71.